first few days with FedEx was just a bunch of computer work and I got a tour of the terminal very organized compared to what I just came from man just the organization is uh, just wow they have all their empty trailers in one spot all their dollies in one spot their loaded trailers are in sections you get a handheld device and it just it tells you exactly where your trailer is located they got four fuel bays they've got a wash bay so you can go in and clean your windshield off with a hose and a brush and all that there is a scale there so that is pretty nice the forklifts have a scale on the forklift on the forks they have dimensioners hanging above head if you got to redimension a load you just run under there and if you got to reweigh it you just reweigh it right there on your computer you know the cool thing i mean well you're learning about all kinds of stuff about the company your job the kind of technology you're going to be using at your job but the cool thing to me is the fact that all of their policies and procedures you can access from a computer at work you could probably access it from your cell phone or at home on your Wi-Fi or whatever if you ever in question about a rule you know we're at you know Estes I wish they had that but instead it was word of mouth hey I don't think they can do that call HR to verify and FedEx, it's all right here, you know, handed to you on a silver platter, man. <laughs> so far, it's so good is all I can say. Within the first three days, you get all your W-4 stuff done. You get your direct deposit set up. And I was able to go ahead and get my uniform set up. I've got my badge. I don't have my badge yet, but all that's being done now. They went ahead and took my picture on day one so they can put my ID or my photo on a badge and I got a badge number I got a login might as well say an employee number and all that so I could log into the computers at work and do everything and uh, I did find out that you're they use people net but it's only for logging well the computer work really only took a couple of days one day I spent watching videos eight hours a day each day 30 bucks an hour you know, I thought the dog work was going to really suck, but it's super easy. You know, as a truck driver, you think, man, working the dock sucks. But you got to think, though, about FedEx Freight. If you work the dock between two and four hours, if you go somewhere, I think it said if you have a run that's 400 miles or less, then dock work is going to be required. But if you have a run that's over 400 miles but less than 475 miles then the dock work is up to you it's optional and the you know if you have a run that's greater than 475 miles then you don't have to work the dock at all i'm glad i made this decision and it's good to see that a lot of you guys who've watched my last video and a lot of you guys work for fedex freight man that's awesome I even had some guys leave comments saying that they thought about SS, they liked the videos, but they decided to go with FedEx Freight as well. So that's great, man. So hey, we're just one big FedEx family over here. The other thing I found out is that if you do go to a terminal, as long as you're qualified to run the yard hostler, they may need somebody to run that truck, so you just probably just clock in and go out there get in the yard hustler and move trailers for a few hours if you don't want to work the dock so I did find that out but more than likely you'll be working the dock because somebody with more seniority than you or someone who gets there before you may actually already be doing the yard hustler but then again like I said working the dock is really not that bad overall it was a good five days good week 40 hours, maybe 38, 39 hours my first week. I did go home earlier today. Been a good week. Uh, like I said, I spent two days on the forklift. Everything I've been saying, guys, I mean, it is just super easy to work that forklift. It's not like maybe what it was 30 years ago. Everything's right there on the computer. You go break out a trailer. Um, you know, when I start running bid runs i guess we'll find out what happens if i go to west memphis and texarkana and whatnot i think 
uh, I don't think you'll be on a forklift very long or you might not break but like one pup trailer or two pup trailers or something but you know it, it's pretty good it's good practice it's not that bad it's 30 bucks an hour I mean goodness and then I gotta work the dock all week this week I think because next week I should be driving with um, an instructor of some sort or maybe uh, running a route or something. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'll let you know as that as that happens. But I thought I'd drop a video at the end of the week. Let you know how the first week of orientation went. Thanks for following along and watching the video. And I appreciate you guys' support and everything. So with that being said, I'm going to get off here and enjoy my weekend. I hope you guys do the same. And I'll have another video next week. See ya.